Hey everyone, this is DHTV and today I've got a really easy video that's going to show you how to delete some of the annoying stock applications on your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch running iOS 7. Now there's a little bit of a trick to this but no jailbreak is required so make sure you watch all the way to the end that way you don't have any issues throughout the process. If you do run into any problems or have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Let's get started. Alright, so what we want to do first is open up Safari and go to RageHack, it's cityhacks.com. I'll leave a link in the description so you can get to it easily. Once you're on this section, you want to go to where it says Hide Apps, No Jailbreak, and if you tap on that, you'll go to a section, it says Hide Apps in iOS 7. This doesn't seem to be working, but if you scroll down, you can go to these apps right here. Now, I'm not sure if this was for iOS 6 only, but I do know, and I've tried it out, the Hide Newsstand feature does work. Some of these don't work, but if you check back over time, I'm sure they'll come up with a method to delete some of the other stock apps, but we'll start with hide newsstand. So first off, let me just show you, I do have newsstand at the bottom right in this folder. So we'll go back into City of Hacks here, and what we're going to do is tap on hide newsstand. You'll get a pop-up, it's going to say, would you like to install newsstand hide? You're going to go ahead and tap install, and now if we open up that folder, you can see that newsstand now kind of looks like the old newsstand looks logo and it says waiting. So what I did and basically this isn't what the instruction said but I just I give it a few taps like this and then I just hold on it and the X appears and then if you tap on that you get this right here it just says new stand hide will also delete all of its data that's fine we'll tap delete and it goes ahead and deletes newsstand so now you don't have newsstand or whatever other stock application if they do update it later on. Now in some cases you may have a pop-up appear rather than having to tap on the icon it'll say the install has failed you want to click OK and then just go ahead and hold on the app you want to delete and you should get the X to delete it this case it didn't happen and I just tapped on it a few times and tapped the X and it was gone so it's a little bit finicky I'm not sure if that's because it was for iOS 6 or not and if you want to save this site just tap down here and it'll give you a feature here and basically you can add it to your home screen just by tapping there rage hack you tap add and then you'll have the mobile app on your home screen so it's very easy to get to you just tap on it and it'll take you to rage hack in the future for different things that you want to do if you want to jailbreak or things like that one thing to keep in mind is that if you want to get newsstand back it's very simple you just basically turn the iPhone off and then turn it back on and there you see new stand is back on your home screen now once again just a disclaimer that this is somewhat of a hack or anything like that so anything could go wrong through this process so if you're worried and you don't want it to happen then just don't do this but as of right now I've tried it on my iPhone 5s and it seems to be working and I haven't had any issues with it as of yet but just in case if you're worried don't do it if you don't mind then just go ahead and do it and if you ever run into any issues with this process just make sure you save a backup of your iPhone's contents to iTunes and then you could just restore your iPhone back to the backup and everything should be okay but once again disclaimer because this is somewhat tricky and finicky anything can happen but this is how you delete newsstand and stock apps hopefully in the future hopefully you found this helpful and enjoyable and if you did hit that like button subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video